Hi, I'm Nick Gillespie, and this is Matt Welch. This is Ask a Libertarian 2012. We're celebrating the paperback release at the end of the month of the Declaration of Independence. It'll be out with a uh, new foreword that covers Occupy Wall Street and a bunch of other stuff that's uh, happened in the past year since the hardcover publication. Our next question comes from Hobbs the Tiger via Twitter. So uh, how do we argue with our earnest righty friends without them screaming at us? He's referring back to an earlier uh, question about how do we argue with lefty friends. Matt, how do we argue with righty friends? I think kind of the same way, and understanding that uh, they too want uh, presumably good things to happen to the country and to the world at large, and that we might have different arguments about how to get there. Um, a lot of people on the right tend to look at libertarians as uh, uh, you know, those who uh, are constantly changing the subject to PCP legalization, which is how Jonah Goldberg once put it to me. Nick and I had an interesting conversation here with Senator Jim DeMint from South Carolina uh, recently. And I think once Republicans realize that libertarians are much more serious about fiscal conservatism than the standard issue Republican, and once they foreground that issue, once that becomes the single most in, uh, important issue, which I argue that it is at this point, the fact that we are careening towards a budget apocalypse right now. Uh, libertarians are the ones who are doing spade work on this and talking about this insistently. Once you show those bona fides, those who are interested in that are going to want to have a conversation with you. And they could be Republicans or they could be Democratic governors like Andrew Cuomo in New York. So again, look, speaking the same, uh, same language in terms of what you want to accomplish, uh, recognize that you're going to disagree about various things and don't necessarily write off entire swaths of people just because they have different aesthetic tastes than you are. Uh, yeah, no, that's true. I mean, I think a lot of politics get mixed up in aesthetics and taste preferences rather than, you know, fundamental goals and aspirations. But with right I always find uh, one of the real sticking points beyond what Matt's talking about is the idea that, uh, you know, libertarians, uh, you know, are just pacifists who are going to give up and, you know, uh, take whatever invading horde from, you know, uh, from either Europe, Asia or Antarctica wants to take over. Uh, a serious question is, uh, you know, to look at the contradictions within right wing tendencies. Uh, right wingers will tell you all the time that government is incompetent by, de by definition. It stinks but we got to keep shoveling more money in defense. You know, that kind of obvious contradiction really needs to be called out and kind of worked through, not in a nasty way, but in a, a, a persistent way. And persistently, we are here doing Ask a Libertarian all day. Stay tuned in this space and keep sending us questions.